Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugar Biker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, Merry Trailer Park Christmas. It's coming up awfully quick, and I hope y'all are ready for it, and I've been getting you ready because I've got this calendar on my website at trailerparkchristmas.com that everyone's been following along, and I've been releasing a video every day since December 1st, and we've done all sorts of things from soups to pies to even crafts, um, especially for the wildlife. We did that one too, but I see here today that it's one called Divinity, and this is a candy that is so great, and it's been made since the dawn of time, and your grandma or someone older probably made this candy. It's very sweet. It's not for someone that has a problem with sugar, because it's just very sweet. It's like dried frosting, and um, I see that I put Red Hot Divinity, and you know, we've used the Red Hot candies to flavor up things, and they work just great. They've made these great pears that are spicy and you know they've gone into cookies and I worked on this recipe for quite some time and I thought you know Divinity doesn't really need this because it's great on its own and you know maybe some cinnamon oil would probably be better it would probably give a better taste and I decided not to do this one today because the the Red Hots just really didn't add to it on its own but divinity is so important during the holidays, and it's one that I do well. And I checked, and making candy is actually a science, and it's very difficult to do if the environment is not well. And I've got a humidity minder that I have in my kitchen, and usually under 60, you want it well under that at 60%. And um, I see today the alarms are going off. It's it's getting close. Uh, over 60 on here so it would be a disaster to make divinity today here as well in the trailer park test kitchen but don't worry I've made this before and I dove into my archives and I brought up some footage of me making divinity and this is the best way to make it it turned out great this time and you should follow these directions you know just to the T because it'll turn out great especially the humidity is underneath that 60% and you know you could buy one of those at the yard sale these are real cheap too at the big box stores and you could test it out too you know when it's hot in your trailer but it's my divinity and I'm diving into the archives to show you how to make it I'll be right back welcome back you've got a lot of things to think about while you're making your divinity you've got to make sure that the eggs reach stiff peaks when your sugar mixture is ready so you've got to time that and you've got to get your workspace worked out and I've got wax paper and I've sprayed it down a little bit with some of the cooking spray and you need a metal spoon and some cold water with ice cubes in there and you'll you'll use that later but um, get that all ready and time your egg whites so that it's the same time as when you're your sugar mixture is ready. On your stovetop, you're going to put two and a half cups of just regular white sugar in there with a half cup of light corn syrup and a half cup of water up on about medium high heat. And we're going to take it to softball stage. Nothing to do about um, actually sports, but it's a candy stage um, when it starts turning into candy like stuff. But you're going to need a candy thermometer, and you can get cheaper ones, uh, about two or three dollars. Um, but but you're going to have to keep your eye on it and stir it a little bit. But about 236 is what you need it at. And we're just going to get that going right here up on the stove. At 236, you're going to slowly add half of the mixture into the beaten egg whites very carefully.
this is a slow process, so you got to be careful and watch it. Sorry I'm not talking during this because this is the important part. You could like wreck the egg whites and everything. There we go. Almost done. Now I'm going to put the rest of the mixture back up on the stove pot. And we're going to cook that to about 250 degrees, and that's about the hardball stage, close to that. Um, I also like to add a little bit of food coloring in there, too, just like that. And we're going to wait till that gets up to 250. Now I have the rest of the mixture at hardball stage at 250, and I'm going to pour that in slowly, too, very slowly. And you're going to mix this around for about five minutes. Um, and your mixer is going to get a workout with this. This is why that a hand mixer is just not the best thing for this. But just pouring this in just like this, very slowly, because you can wreck it all up if you don't do it slow. There we go. Still pouring it in, very slow. You gotta do it really, really slow, or you could wreck it all up. There we go. Still more coming in there. Mixing it. A little bit more. A while. Don't want to mess it up here. Such a science with this sugar and, you know, heat to make candy. There we go. Almost there. Almost done. And there we go. Let that mix around for about five minutes. But you're also going to add about um, a teaspoon to tablespoon of um, vanilla extract. Mix that on in there. You could probably use some almond extract too. I like a, a little bit more there. It smells so good. Sugary and vanilla-y. And we're going to mix that around for about five minutes, and we're going to check it in just about five minutes. Now that you have your mixture, you got to work fast. You can use a cookie scooper, and I've sprayed it out with some cooking spray, and just make little globs down on wax paper, just like that. And it works real simple. You can spread it out in a pan and then cut it later, or I think from my cooking classes, I remember this is called the quenelle method. You take a cold spoon and you get a little bit just like that and then you just spoon it off just like that and you make like a spoon shape just like that. But um, you have to work fast because it starts getting kind of gooey at that point and Divinity can look a little bit different on each piece. It doesn't have to look perfect. Um, I like the little blobs myself, but it does get kind of sticky at some points. But you gotta work really, really fast or it'll mess up. There we go. I'm just gonna work these out here. Gonna try different uh, techniques here, both the spoon and the cookie scooper but there we go. The weather must have been perfect today to make this because this turned out perfect if it'll come out of the cookie scoop. There we go. Let's try the spoon now.
And this is when you just give up and just eat it out of the bowl. And there you have it, my divinity candy. And you know, you might not be able to make this the first try. It might be the weather or just something that happened. But it just really is a great candy when it does turn out. And it's old fashioned. It's been around since, I don't know, the 1800s. And it's just a light, fluffy candy. It dries out and kind of hardens around the outside. And you can make it any color that you want. You can match it to the holidays. And I can't wait to try it. Mmm. Kind of tastes like a marshmallow, but it has a different texture and taste of vanilla and mmm. It's a sugar shock, I'll tell you that. But it sure is divine, and that's where the name comes from. I hope you enjoyed how to make Divinity candy today. It's all based on the humidity, so you make sure that you've got that under control or the candy just will not work out. It truly is a favorite around the holidays because it slices up and gives as gifts great in like cellophane or in like a gift basket. It's just a great thing to give and it truly is an old fashioned treat that needs to make a comeback. So I truly hope you make it. If you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. And of course, add me on Facebook and Google+. Get your calendar at TrailerParkChristmas.com so you can follow along only a few more days with the holidays. So uh, y'all better be ready. Check up on my past recipes so you know what to fix. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Make my divinity candy today. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide. Store at trailerparkstore.com Spend the holidays the trailer park away